Christ the King Sunday, Year C. From the Epistle to the Colossians, Christ himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this Christ the King Sunday talk to us about just how far Jesus is willing to go in order to reconcile all things to God. The Feast of Christ the King comes not only right before Advent with its focus on the coming of the Kingdom, but at the end of November's focus on our remembrance of things past. So when we hear about the shepherd who's willing to go into all lands in order to bring the sheep back into their fold, when we hear the Father has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, when we gaze upon Jesus' body on the cross, we know that God is willing to follow us into each and every portion of our lives. Wherever we have hidden ourselves, when the nations are making much ado and the kingdoms are being shaken, we know that the Lord of hosts is with us. We know that the God of Jacob is our stronghold. If Jesus is going to completely reconcile all things on earth and in heaven, then his authority must reach into every nook and cranny of our existence, including those where we fear death and abandonment by God. Only by being born among us as a human being, hanging there on a cross, scorned and abandoned by his friends, mocked with let him save himself if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. Only by going all the way through death with us is Jesus, the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, in whom all things in heaven and on earth were created. Only then is he able to conquer over death, the enemy we fear the most. In the name of our own almighty King, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.